Hey there, owning an aircraft is a dream for many, but what does it actually cost to keep a plane like the Cessna 177 Cardinal in the air? Whether you're looking to buy one or just curious, in this video we're going to break down both the fixed and the variable costs of owning a Cardinal, including hangar rent, insurance, inspections, and more. Let's dive into the numbers so you can make an informed decision. If you live in a densely populated area like New York or LA or something like that, you're probably going to pay somewhere between well, closer to $500 a month for a hangar. But in general, you should plan on spending about $200 to $500 a month for a hangar. Unless you're in a less uh, densely populated area like I live, where I'm paying about $165 a month. We have insurance. Insuring the Cessna 177 typically costs about $1,200 to $2,500 per year, depending on a lot of factors. And that can be your experience as a pilot, your age, and uh, choose the type of coverage you choose. The key to finding affordable insurance is having a good safety record, and if possible, try to get some additional certifications like your instrument rating or commercial license. Those things will help bring your costs down for insurance. Now let's talk about variable costs. And one of the biggest variable costs you're gonna run into is annual inspections. For most aircraft, the, the FAA requires annual inspections to be done on your airplane, and it's essential to keep your airplane airworthy. Well, my experience has been that you're gonna pay between two and $4,000 every time you do an annual inspection. For example, on my Cardinal, my seat rail was broken and it cost me $600 just for the part. That doesn't include all the labor it took to remove all the rivets and replace them. Well, that leads us to the owner-assisted inspection. If you really want to keep the cost down, putting your own labor into the airplane, taking it all apart for the mechanic to look at is a really great way to keep your cost down. I've been doing owner-assisted annuals for the last two years, and my costs have been between $400 and $1,200. So it really saves a lot of money. And fuel, of course, is going to be one of your most expensive hourly expenses. And my plane burns between 8 and 10 gallons an hour. And fuel costs can range anywhere between like $5.50 a gallon. I've seen it as high as almost $10 a gallon in some places. So it's really variable depending on where you are. At any rate, you can plan on spending anywhere between $40 and $70 an hour. Next thing is you have oil costs. I probably burn about a quart of oil every 10 hours or so. And a quart of oil is going to run you probably six to eight dollars a quart. So we're talking about probably a dollar an hour when you fly in. Finally, we got engine reserves. This is a bit of a hidden cost, but it's critical to budgeting for the uh, long term ownership of the airplane. For a Cessna 177, it's recommended to set aside about $20 to $30 per flight hour for an engine overhaul fund. This helps cover the eventual cost of replacing or overhauling your engine, which can cost upwards of $30 to $40,000 when that time comes. So that's a big chunk of money right there. So when you add everything up, let's take a look at the total hourly cost for owning your Cessna 177 Cardinal. There's a breakdown. Fuel, $40 to $70 an hour. Oil, about $1 an hour. Engine reserves, $20 to $30 an hour. Altogether, you're looking at an hourly operating cost somewhere in the $60 to $100 per flight hour range. Of course, this depends on your usage, how well you maintain your plane, and where you're flying. To wrap up, owning a Cessna 177 Cardinal is a fantastic experience, but it does come with a fair share of costs. From hangar rent to insurance to fuel and maintenance, you need to budget carefully. On average, your total cost to own and operate this plane will likely range between $10,000 and $15,000 per year, depending on the number of hours you fly, and that's without any major unexpected repairs or overhauls. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more country living content. If you own a Cessna 177, drop a comment below and let us know what your costs are. We'll see you next time.